taking well seven hundred and fifty megabytes. So I reckon those are high quality tracks. Okay. Well, I'm just scrolling through the mix. Okay, first thing, you switched off sync. Switching off sync is a killer, of course, because there is no beat sync here. And even though you're using drum and bass, so everything has the same tempo, don't switch off beat sync. It's killing. So I think that's the whole issue. You switched off beat sync. Let's have a listen to a transition over here, for example. same no beats no beats no beats no beats over here you tried something with tense yeah, horrible horrible of course I understand you don't like this here you did some AI beat gridding but the biggest issue is you switched off beat sync so now let me correct it. Um, if you go to harmonize, transitions, synchronize tempo, you need to switch this on. And let's do a bass swap, eight bars, let's do a long version and you mix in and mix out points, I don't care about it. Harmonize it. Uh, and then you have another thing, so now the transitions are blue and blue means that the beats are synchronized if the beats are correct so that's another thing in your playlist a lot of beats and I don't know the original that's a flaw of the export uh, on my machine they are switched to manual so I don't know what it originally was on your machine so let's switch on the metronome and have a listen. That one's good. Let's listen to this. Um, I think there's the downbeat. So right click set downbeat and then the numbering starts here. Yeah, that's correct. Now this one. Beat gridded could be okay, but you see a lot of jumps going up and down. This is AI flex, I guess. No, let's go to fixed. And sometimes fixed is a bit off, but in this case, it's it, it your type of music. Sometimes we need to... Yeah, perfect. If you need to move the whole beat grid, you can put the mouse over here and you can move the grid in the directions. But by setting the beat grid, you are sure that... Yeah, this one is also AI flex. This one... Okay, so this is how you can walk through your project. Uh, So the metronome is a big friend. Uh, 
Perfect. And I use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, I already see these little wobbles, so fix it first. Fixed. Ah, this is a breakbeat. Yeah, this is interesting. So you could say that you want to go over here. I'm not sure. I could move the whole grid over here and see if this fixes it. Yeah, this fixes it. So slow motion, what did I do? Command Z. Um, with the fixed beat grid, we need to have one fixed grid that fits the whole track and we do a guesstimate and sometimes we're off. I could do AI in here. When I switch to AI, you see AI is picking it up correctly and has a little wobbling, but and of course you want to have the downbeat over here for the metronome. Right click, set downbeat, and now you see 49. So AI can also fix the job or you do it manually. Uh, fixed. Let's have a listen. Yeah. Okay. This one fixed. So that was the biggest pitfall that we had, having so much unnecessary AI. And the last one. I'll simply send you the project file that I worked on. Okay, well, now that the, uh, the beat grids are all in place, oh, there was an AI left, here we go. Uh, we can look at the playlist. Well, let's pick something. You locked this transition. Let's see in the studio. And this is simply a crossfade and a, a bass swap. Okay, let's do something completely different. Uh, what do we have here? At the drop, I want to have this focal coming in. I'll grab the transition, enlarge it, and I want to have a super long transition. Get rid of everything, simply listen first what's going on. And then this top one. going a little bit off key no problem no problem let's go to the stems we now split the focals we see we have a focal clash in here if you press this plus button we'll zoom so we see more I want to get rid of this focal totally just switch it off and there is some melody in there and over here uh, 
let's see if we can uh, get rid of this base over here. Well, if you grab it on the outside, we can do a base swap. You see? Woo! So let's swap it over here. The drum, well, we can do the same. Grab it on the outside. And this is maybe a nice place to swap the drum. And let's hear the melody. Again. Okay, so this is the that one is also that one is disturbing this red one. It's pretty dominant. Okay, let's get rid of it completely. That's for sure. And now solo the top one. Okay, this is the end of my transition, that's for sure. Uh, sorry, grab the track at the end of the transition. And we love long transitions, something like this. And here we go. Switch off the crossfade. First, I have a listen. Oh, 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 sorry. Pressing escape, by the way, is activating the center playhead. So now everything moves over here and pressing escape again the playhead will follow there's a key glitch even though it's a little one <laughs> impossible Let's see what the stem separation can do if we do it over here. So there's a new focal in town. Get rid of the old one. The melody is clashing. Okay, that's too abrupt.
key clashes go. Hey, the beats are not all over the place. What you saw is that I first uh, look at the beat grids. I make sure that the beat grids are okay. And uh, you already harmonized the playlist. So I didn't need to look at the key or anything. I'm just playing around with it. And we ha, it goes well. So, so I hope you uh, learned a bit more and how I make the mixes from my perspective, even though I don't know drum and bass. And uh, well, let's have fun with it. <laughs>